Greetings and welcome back to AG2. Today we want to discuss a, we're going to work with PowerPoint for a few minutes and um, basically what we've got here is a slide. We've put together some information for the battalion commander or the battalion CSM, whatever that scenario may be. And we've decided we want to add some images to kind of give the slide a little more um, visual appeal. And what we do is we go to insert and we're going to go get these pictures that we have and let's say we want to put some CSM rank that'll work let's go get a battalion commander rank yep that looks good and let's position that I'm going to put you up here on the right and I'm going to make you smaller and put you up here in the left and let's get a Okay, that's a no. So we'll just we're just gonna put those two images up there, and we we've got them sized up, and we're happy with it. And and that's it. And the purpose of what I want to show you today is that putting an image in here with this white background, it looks very tacky in terms of fitting in with the rest of the slide. And it's because maybe we just don't know how to get that out of there. So. I mean, for those of you that do, this video is not for you, but for personnel that don't know how to do that, the new PowerPoint will allow you to select an image. And once you insert that image, you can come up here to Format. And once you're in Format, it's got a Remove Background. And it says Automatically Remove Unwanted Portions of the Picture so you select that remove image background and and before I do that I'm gonna discard the changes let's let's blow that up so we can we can clearly see it then let's select remove background and by default PowerPoint really figured out that hey all this white space is what he doesn't want so you can keep the changes and it immediately removes all of the white background out of that image and it looks much better as I place it back up here in the top portion of my slide and then I've got this white background in the CSM rank so I'm gonna blow that one up also and select remove background and it didn't quite remove everything that it needed to but it got me to a 95 percent solution so I'm just gonna stretch this out at the top I'm gonna stretch it out at the bottom and it figured it out so I'm happy with that and I'm gonna hit keep the changes and it removes the background from that image and now I can set it in there and it looks a hundred times better than what it did with the white backgrounds so again I'll repeat that process again on an, an additional image just so you can see it um, let's go down here and take a Let's take this AG shield and we want to put it here and it just it just doesn't fit in very well here with that white background and there are ways for you to you know blend the edges in but it just it, do, it doesn't look very professional so let's let's blow it up and we do like this image so what we'll do is select remove the background and it tried to figure it out but it really couldn't figure out what portions that I wanted to keep so I'm gonna stretch this out in the inside and now I'm gonna mark areas to keep and basically I'm telling PowerPoint hey these areas I want in my image so I don't want you to get rid of them put a scratch there I'm going to scratch across this entire image here 
and at that point you can just start selecting areas being as delicate as you can and it's figuring out pretty much what I'm wanting to keep so now I can select keep the changes and now I have an AG shield that has no background and I can place that image inside of my PowerPoint slide and now it looks a whole lot more professional and I can add as many images as I want and, and continuously remove the backgrounds from those images um, we'll do that one more time and you can play the video again let's just take this one CD image again the first thing you want to do is blow it up maybe not that big we're on format already remove background and it pretty much figured out the 90 percent you just stretch the, the selected area out and it absolutely got it right I'm happy with that so I'm gonna keep the changes and now I have a unit patch that has no no background in it so again thank you for your time subscribe to the AG2 channel Defend and serve.